kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me wow. Exercising kitties. The kittens were spending the weekend with their grandma. Wake up, my darling kittens. Time to greet a lovely new day. We want to stay in bed a little longer. Yeah, I haven't got the energy to get out of bed. Come on, kittens. Join me for my morning exercise. You all will feel super energized and strong in no time at all. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Exercise. Only grandmas and grandpas need to exercise. We're just little kittens. Exercise is really great for cats of all ages. Stretching helps you feel strong and energetic. I'm really strong already. Just check this out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're some athlete. If you don't want to exercise, it's fine. But you absolutely must have porridge for breakfast, little ones. It will give you energy for the entire day. That means if we just eat porridge, we'll be really strong. Yeah, and we can do it without morning exercise. So, so awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. The kittens had their breakfast and went to play outside. I'll bring it back here. I just can't run anymore. I'll get it down. How are we supposed to get it down from up there? Uh, we could use a stick to knock it down. But what if instead you break it? We can put springs on our feet and jump up and grab it that way. What if you get stuck in a tree as well? Then we'll have to get you out of the tree too. Hey, maybe we should call Dart's father. He'll hurry here in his fire truck and get the helicopter down. Hey! Up there! We can't distract firefighters from more important things. You know, fires and stuff. I suppose we'll just have to climb the tree ourselves to rescue the helicopter. But the kittens weren't strong enough to climb the tree. No. We're never going to be able to get our helicopter down. <laughs> ah, the old helicopter in the tree problem. Let's get it back then. Oh, wow! There's nothing super about it. It's all thanks to my exercises. I'd like to be as strong as Granny, too. Yeah, so do I. I have a really good idea. Daddy and Mommy came to visit Grandma and the kittens. Well, Pudding, seems like you're a kitten superhero. It's only been one day and your grandma has already turned our kittens into athletes. Hello, kittens. And hello to you. It's all thanks to Granny's exercises. Actually, I feel like I could do with a little exercise. I'm pretty stiff after driving all of that way. In that case, why don't we... Do a few exercises all together. So, so awesome. awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! By the way, that me wow, me wow wave of yours is great exercise. So now the kitty cats always do their morning stretches, and their wave is a megatastic way to exercise their arms, too. The Kettle Quest. One day, the kittens and Mommy and Daddy were getting ready for tea. Thank you for your help, dear kittens. Everything's ready. I just need to boil some water. Goodness, 
I think our electric kettle is broken. <sighs> well, can't say I'm surprised, not after how long it's been serving us. Oh, no. We won't ever have yummy lemony tea again. It's nothing to worry about, kittens. We'll zip to the store this instant and pick up a nice, shiny new kettle. We'll have a beautiful new kettle. So, so awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. <laughs> At the store, Daddy and the kittens see that they sell way more than just kettles. Oh, look at that! Markers! We should buy some! But you already have markers, Cookie. Yeah, but not these colors. All right, let's buy them. Oh, hammers! I just remembered I need a new hammer. Hey, look at those cool swim fins. Ah! <laughs> Oh, those are pretty balloons! <laughs> Daddy and the kittens got so carried away shopping that they didn't notice the time. Goodness, we've been here over an hour. Mommy has got to be waiting for us. Come along, let's pay for everything and head home. <laughs> We're oh. back. <laughs> yeah, it appears you had quite a fun shopping trip. You betcha. We bought so many things that we need. New markers. I didn't have all these cool colors. But, Cookie, you already have those colors. Don't you remember? You drew this picture with them. Oh, yeah. You're right. I guess I forgot about them. Look, Mommy, we also bought a rubber ducky. <laughs> I'll go put it in the bathtub. <laughs> but we've already got lots of rubber ducks. What other things did you buy, my darlings? Uh... You bought holiday tree ornaments in the middle of summer? The snowflakes on them are really beautiful. Look, we also got some snow in a can. What's in that box? That is a sea monster costume, dear. Uh, Where are those fancy parties you like? Yes, I'd prefer something fancier, like a mermaid costume. Certainly not a sea monster one. Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> A swimming pool filter. Oh, that's right. We don't have a swimming pool. Oh, it's, uh, for, um, well, yeah, that was a silly thing to buy. But wait till you see our nice new hammer, because I lost my old one. Um, no, you didn't. I saw it in the cellar. You did? <laughs> Hooray, Mommy found my old one. What are we going to do with all this stuff that we bought, Daddy? I think we should put them down in the cellar for safekeeping. Then there wouldn't be any room left down there. <laughs> Help! I have a really good idea. We should return everything to the store. Wonderful idea, Candy. Uh, we'll do it right after we've eaten something. My poor tummy's all rumbly and empty. Well, then it's a good thing that it happens to be tea time. Uh, there might be one small problem. We forgot to buy a kettle. Oh, no. <laughs> No need to worry, my darlings. We have an old metal kettle in the kitchen somewhere. I can use it to heat the water like they did in the old days on the stove. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The family had their tea after all, and the kittens realized that it's not always good to buy everything you want. It's better to buy the things that you really need. Learning to fly. One day, Daddy brought home a remote-controlled flying toy. Daddy, what is that? It's a quadcopter drone. It's like a tiny helicopter with four rotors instead of one. You control it with a remote just like a toy car? Amazing! Can I play with the drone too? Me first! Give me the controller! I want to try too, Daddy. Kitten dears, I'm very sorry. But this is a toy that's only for grown-up cats, like your daddy. <laughs> Oh, it's not easy to control it. It's better to fly outside. In a little while, we'll go out and try it together. So awesome!
Um, me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! But later on, I have to finish what I was doing first. You can look at the quadcopter all you want, but be careful and don't try to fly it. But toys are for kittens, aren't they? Not for grown-up cats. Yeah, it's not like we couldn't figure out how to make the quadcopter fly without Daddy's help. I guess we are the toy experts, so it should be fine. But shouldn't we take it outside? There's more room for flying there. Hi, guys. Look what we brought with us. Wow, that is really cool. My uncle has one just like it. You really know how to fly it? Of course. It's really not that hard. Tell Daddy. Oh. There's only one thing we can tell him. We have to tell him the truth. Daddy! Aha! Uh -huh. So are you ready for your first flying lesson? We'll hand me that controller and we'll head outside for our very first flight. We're sorry, Daddy. We thought we could do it ourselves. We already took the drone out. We tried to make it fly, but we had trouble controlling it. And now it's stuck in our chimney. Huh? The chimney on the roof outside? Uh, oh, my kittens, I had reasons for telling you not to fly this by yourselves. You could have broken the quadcopter or words hurt someone. Yeah, I guess we didn't really think about all that. I won't take anything without permission ever again, I promise. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear that, kittens. And it seems our quadcopter isn't broken, so that's good, too. I'm guessing the controller's broken, and that's why we couldn't fly it right. No, the controller's just fine. Trying to fly a drone like this is a little difficult, and that's why I said it was a toy for grown-ups. <laughs> We'll never be able to fly the drone like that. Sure we will. When we get really, really old, just like Daddy. Probably earlier than that. You just need to learn and practice. But never without Daddy there to teach you and to supervise. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! That is how the kitty cats learn that some toys are more complicated and can only be played with when you're with a grown-up who can help you. <laughs> Not so carefree cat. Mommy had gone out for the day, leaving Daddy at home with the kitty cats. Mommy. Yes, my darling? Do you remember all the chores uh, I asked you to do? A uh, chore, yeah, but we were just about to start them. Uh, kittens, Mommy would like for you to vacuum the house and me to do the laundry before she gets back. Before we do the chores, could we play for a while? I'd love to sit here and watch soccer all day, but if we don't do these important chores, they won't get done at all. Are you tired of chores? The all-new Carefree Cat Device will do all your chores for you. It'll clean, do laundry, and take care of everything else. Call now and order the Carefree Cat Home System today. Awesome! I bet that thing could vacuum all the rocks oh. for us. And do many other things. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I think I'll do, kittens? <laughs> Over the carefree cat. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Daddy ordered the carefree cat system, and in an hour, it was installed in the kitten's house. Carefree cat is ready for use. 
<laughs> so carefree cat, turn on your cleaning mode. Yes! That's so awesome! What other stuff can it do? For one thing, it can recognize its owners by sight and unlock the doors to let them in. Identity confirmed. Now, carefree cat, turn on your laundry setting. Laundry initiated. Daddy and the kittens like the carefree cat very much. Ah. But then, something went wrong. Trash on the floor. Come in, please. Stop! My puzzle pieces! Laundry is done. Please remove your items. Uh -huh. Oh! It washed the colored clothes and the white clothes together. Let me in! Identity cannot be confirmed. But it's me, Cookie! Pudding too. Identity cannot be confirmed. We need to take our costumes off to show who we really are. But we haven't finished pretending to be aliens yet. <laughs> <laughs> This crazy carefree cat system is turning out to be more trouble than it's worth. I have a really good idea. We should just turn it off and do all the chores ourselves. <laughs> Mommy! Welcome home. We just got all the chores finished. Well done, my darlings. I knew I could count on you to get everything done, which is why I brought you all ice cream. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! If the carefree cat had done the chores instead of us, do you think he'd get to eat the ice cream instead of us, too? Uh, what carefree cat are you talking about? <laughs> oh, we sort of tried out a labor-saving gadget. But we figured out right away that we just don't need it. Yes! Come on, everybody! Let's have ice cream! The kittens actually had some fun doing the chores themselves. And what's more, they loved how happy it made Mommy. Cookie's Scooter Skills One day, the kittens saw a commercial showing a cat on a super fab scooter. <laughs> Super Skill Scooters are so cool, they'll make you cooler than this cool cat. Awesome! Daddy, I need the cool scooter from the commercial. I've been saving up. I want to use my money to get it. Ah, so an ordinary scooter simply won't do? No, a normal one doesn't come close to the same level of coolness. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, since you're paying for most of it, I guess we better get the cool one. Ah, so, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! At the store, Cookie bought everything he needed to look just like the cat in the TV commercial. Cookie, you look like the coolest cat of all time. You do look quite handsome. Now I'm going to be able to do some super cool tricks. Watch this. Whoa. Now, was that a cool trick or not? Not. Falling's not cool at all. It's a really good thing that Cookie's wearing a helmet and pads. I'm only warming up, so I'll be even cooler than the coolest cat who ever lived. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
Huh? Something's wrong with this dumb little ramp, obviously. How about instead I just jump over the sandbox? Whoa. Turns out you're the coolest cat never. Which doesn't look handsome at all. I know why none of my tricks are working. Obviously, the scooter's broken. You need to take it to the place you got it and trade it in for a good one. Daddy and the kittens went to the store to let the sales cat examine the scooter. There's nothing wrong with this scooter. In fact, it's in perfect working order. Yeah? Then could my helmet be messed up? Nothing wrong with the helmet. What about the... Your safety pads are also just fine. <laughs> okay, well, thank you. We'll get going then. Maybe it just fixed itself on the way here somehow. Cookie, what part exactly was broken? Cookie couldn't do super cool stunts, like the awesome rider on TV. Well, since we've learned it isn't broken, maybe you can do cool tricks now. Okay, I'll try. I'm going to ride down these oh. steps. Cookie, stop! Cookie, you don't know how to ride downstairs, and I don't either. Does that mean that the cool TV cat can't really do them? And the super skill scooter isn't really cool at all? Were they just lying about it? <laughs> Not at all. That cat on TV can really do those cool tricks. Come with me. I'll show you what I mean. Daddy and the kittens went to the skate park, where the cat from the commercial was practicing. <gasps> Whoa! Wow! I can't make my scooter do all that, even though I've got the same exact model you have. <laughs> I can do all this stuff on my scooter because I practice all the time, like for hours and hours every day. It's a lot of hard work. Oh, so then it's not the scooter that's cool, but the rider. I have a really good idea. Cookie just needs some time to practice. If he does, soon he'll be doing lots of super cool tricks. Yeah, that's right. I'd be glad to give the little dude a lesson or two. So awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! The kittens learned that every skill requires practice. Then, you can do cool tricks on any scooter. Kitty cats back in time. One day, Grandpa and the kittens set out to explore a cave. Long ago in prehistoric times, ancient cats didn't build houses like us. Instead, they lived in caves, just like this one. Ah! <laughs> Don't you worry. We've got flashlights and helmets to protect our heads. They're really strong. Yay, this is amazing! We look like real cave explorers! <laughs> so, so awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! The cave turned out to be quite dark, but very exciting. Hey, hey! Hi! <laughs> Grandpa, will you tell us about the ancient cats? Sure! They lived in caves just like this one. They wore simple clothes, and they didn't have flashlights or electricity or central heating, so they would gather around fires. <laughs> oh, wow! I've wanted to find traces of ancient cats since I was small, but I never could find any. Oh! <laughs> huh? Huh? Uh, oh. It's a shame that Grandpa never found what he always dreamed he would. Hey, you guys, why don't we help him? How? Grandpa! What, Cookie? Look here, I just found some paw prints. Is it possible ancient cats could have left these? <laughs> <laughs> Cookie, these are your own footprints. Huh, you're right. What other kinds of things did ancient cats leave behind? Well, I suppose it could be anything, really, Cookie. Not just footprints, but objects and paintings on the cave walls sometimes. Mm. Uh, my Grandpa, I think I found an ancient candy wrapper. An ancient cat must have dropped it a long time ago, like maybe a hundred gajillion and sixty-five years. <laughs> Don't think that's ancient. Ancient cats only ate things like mushrooms, berries, and fish. They didn't have any candy back then. Oh, no? 
Let's pick up the wrapper in any case. Look what I found! I think an ancient cat must have drawn this picture. It's a wall painting like you said they used to make. Hmm, that's interesting. It's a really wonderful drawing, but it wasn't painted by any ancient cats. But how can you tell that it's not? There's one detail that gives it away. There were no airplanes back then. Aww. Please don't feel bad, kittens. Thank you for trying to help me find the ancient cat traces I've always dreamt of. Hmm? Hello? Lunch is ready. Please head back home. All right. Be back soon. That was your mommy, telling us it's time to head home. She has your lunch ready. Oh, there's more than one path. Which one do we need to take? Oh, oh no. We're all lost in here. <laughs> hmm. Don't you worry, Pudding. We'll figure out how to handle this problem. I have a really good idea. Remember Cookie's footprints? We can follow our footprints back. Good thinking, Candy. You're a real cave explorer. Grandpa and the kittens headed to the cave's exit. I'm sorry you didn't find any evidence of ancient cats, Grandpa. But we had a real honest-to-goodness adventure. Let me get a picture of my brave fellow adventurers. Uh, move right. A little more. So the bat family's in the shot, too. Smile big now. Oh. Oh. Kittens, look! We found an actual wall painting done by ancient cats long ago. How can I never have noticed it before? You never had anyone with you before that you wanted to take a picture of. Look at that. It's kind of like the ancient cats are trying to wave at us. Hi there! Me-wow, 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 me-wow! The kitty cats and their grandpa kept their eyes wide open that day in the cave, and by noticing every detail, they eventually found what they were looking for. Championship! With only a few more days left until kickoff, you can bet the stadium will be flooded with fans very soon! And here comes our city's own team and their glorious captain! <laughs> Are we going to the stadium, too? Of course we are, kittens. It's the only way to truly support our team. Oh. <laughs> In fact, I was just about to call and book our tickets this minute. We'll get to watch the game right there at the stadium, just like real fans. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> we'll get to see our team win. And after the game, we can drive back waving our winning team's flags. No! No! Huh? Uh, 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 oh, no! Oh, what happened, honey? There are no more tickets left. They've already sold out every seat. Oh, all is lost. Aww. It doesn't really matter, my darling. I'm sure we'll survive. We'll just watch the game on television. <laughs> Come now, I'll make some nice tea for you. Poor Daddy, he's such a mega fan. I feel bad for him now. Attention, soccer fans. The contest for the best trick with a soccer ball is now underway. The winner will be awarded an official team ball presented by the captain himself. Hey, we need to win that ball for Daddy because that would really cheer him up. I will now bounce this ball on my head a hundred times. One, two, three, oops. Just a sec. This time for real. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. All right, maybe I can't bounce it a hundred times. Well, maybe you could make just one tricky shot. A super incredible one. Hey, Cookie here. I will now kick this ball through that door. Then it'll roll down the slide on the other side. Cool, let's try. Ah! Ugh. Ouch! I don't think I can do it. I have a really good idea, but to make it work, we'll need a little help from our friends. 
The kitten's friends agreed to help them perform the ball trick. We ready? Yeah! yeah. All right, let's do it! Now let's send this into the trick shot contest. The next day, they announced the contest winner. And the winner of the trick shot contest huh? is Cat the Artist. Aww. For his creative approach to soccer. He will receive an official team ball from the captain. But we'd also <laughs> like to mention another special video from the Kitty Cats and Friends. No way, they're showing our video. And as a special prize, all these adorable kittens and their parents will receive tickets to the championship game. Awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! The stadium is completely full tonight. The home team leads to the score of two to zero. The captain's power kick. The ball soars high into the air and gets by the right in the hands of the lucky young fan. Watching the championship match and cheering for your team from the stands can be a wonderful experience, especially when you're with your family. Kitty Fun Fair. One day, an exciting traveling fun fair came to town. We're headed to a real life fun fair. Oh boy, this is going to be the best day ever. We should try every single ride there. It's a shame that the fair is only here for one day. Kittens, don't worry. We'll all have a really wonderful time. Right. We'll take pictures after every ride so we'll never forget the fun time. So awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! Cookie wanted to ride the roller coaster with the really big loops. Hmm, I'm sorry, little fella, but this ride isn't suitable for kittens. You have to be taller than this to ride it. Well, what if I crawled up on Pudding's shoulders so that huh? we'd look as tall as a grown-up? Well, you are taller, but you still look too young. Hmm? <laughs> We can make mustaches and beards out of cotton candy so everyone thinks that we're grandpas! It's not about how old you are, but how tall. If you're too short, the seatbelt won't hold you in. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> that is very not safe. Let's go to the fun house with the crazy mirrors that makes us look wobbly. That'll cheer us up. <laughs> 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 Happy pieces for the picture album. I didn't huh? find that very fun at all. Huh? Well, first my tail looked enormous, then it was too little, then I looked all wonky and crooked. <laughs> yeah, fun house. There's more attractions over there. Look, we must ride the adorable ducks. No way. Let's try that haunted house there. Is it really scary in there? No way! It's the coolest! Yeah? Okay, then. Well, then I'm going to ride the ducks. All right, have fun, kittens. Daddy and I will wait here. We'll take a nice photo of your smiling faces when you're back. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, that spider's just made of plastic. <laughs> and that snake's just made of rubber. <laughs> <laughs> and now for the picture! Well, we don't seem to have any happy pictures so far. I was very scared. I wanted the ducks to go fast. Nothing was real on that ride. There are more attractions over there, darlings. <laughs> My phone battery ran out. Attention guests, the huh? traveling fun fair will be closing huh? soon. And we still haven't got a photo where everyone is happy. 
And the fun fair is moving on tomorrow. <laughs> I have a really good idea. We just need to find a ride that everybody will like, even if we can't take a photo. Uh. The kittens and their parents decided to ride the Ferris wheel. Wow, we're really high. It's sort of scary, but it's really cool as well. And it's really beautiful. <laughs> Cookie looks like someone's grandfather. At least now you can get on the rides that are just for grown-ups. <laughs> <laughs> oh, looks like we'll get our picture after all. Everyone, now we have a happy picture for the Fun Fair album. And we are all smiling in it. Yeah, but Daddy blinked, though. Oh, no, I've ruined the whole thing. I think we have time for one more ride, and we'll get another chance at the picture. Awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> the Ferris wheel turned out to be the kitty cat family's favorite ride and helped make the trip to the fair a really special happy being together memory for them all. Lifeguards. One day, the kittens and daddy were visiting grandpa. <sighs> what a perfect day for fishing. Huh? I'll sail out a little way and catch a whopper that's humongous. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Kittens, we'll be fishing closer to shore than your father will be, but you still need to wear your life jackets. Back in my lifeguard days, cats would sail with no life jackets at all. Were you really a lifeguard, Grandpa? So cool. That must have been the coolest. Hmm? <laughs> oh, help me! Help! <laughs> Lifeguards just like Grandpa. Wait a minute. Who are we supposed to save? There's no one here but the fish and the seagulls. You got that right. No one to save out here. So let's just catch some fish. It's fun if you give it a chance. <laughs> <laughs> no! Almost lost it. Oh, yeah! Let's toss this overboard and then rescue it from the water like real lifeguards! No! It'll get soaking wet. Shh, titties! You'll scare the fish! Hey, Candy! What if you were to jump in the water and we could save you? Come on! You're wearing a life vest! But that's not fair! It's your idea you jump in! Then Pudding and I will save you! Huh? No way! I don't want to be saved! I want to be the saver! <coughs> oh! We can save the fish from the seagulls! <coughs> oh. Hey! Burgling bird! Hmm. Aw, we make lousy lifeguards, don't we? Uh -huh, I got a bite! Oh, 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 you're a big fella, aren't you? Oh, 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 Daddy had accidentally turned the boat motor on. Huh? Help! Huh? Oh. Daddy! Daddy! My son! Uh, Oh. Attention! It's time for a real rescue operation! <laughs> Daddy! The lifeguards are coming! Now grab my paws! But Daddy got swept up by the current. Kittens, throw your Daddy this rope and pull him to the boat just like a fish on a hook. <laughs> Our paws were too slippery to hold on! We are the worst lifeguards ever! <laughs> Really good idea. We'll catch Daddy with our fishing rods. A wonderful idea, Candy. Let's do it. So the kittens went daddy fishing. <laughs> You've really caught a big one, kittens. <laughs> 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 
Thanks, kittens. You just saved your daddy. That means you're real lifeguards. And don't worry about the broken rods. I'll buy you some new ones as a reward for saving my sweet little boy here. <laughs> my boat. Grandpa turned off the motor on daddy's boat. Mm -hmm. Careful now, or we'll have to save Daddy all over again. <laughs> <laughs> that evening, everyone enjoyed the fish Daddy caught, and the kittens told Mommy all about their rescue mission. Following instructions. One day, Grandma was cleaning out a room for the kittens to have sleepovers at her house. Grandma! My dear lovely kittens, your new bedroom is virtually ready. All that's left is to build your beds. They'll be so comfy. Well, that is, as soon as I figure out how to assemble them. So awesome! Be well, be well, be well, be well! <laughs> Where's the pirate ship you bought for us, Daddy? Ahoy, here it is. But I think I left the instruction manual in the trunk. Uh, look, got it! Huh? <laughs> oh, there are a lot of parts in that one. It should take a long time. Piece of cake. We'll make the pirate ship super quick. And then we can go down and sail it on your pond. Wonderful. And while all of you are busy assembling ships and beds, I will go cook our dinner. Hey, Pudding, can you tell me what this says? Uh, take part A and connect it with part B. Then insert part C straight into part D. Huh? I didn't understand a single word of that. Hmm. <laughs> We can put the ship together using our imagination. Imagine that this is part of the pirate ship's deck. This looks like the steering wheel. And right here is the pirate flag. The kittens are sure that they can build a great ship. Aww. I guess we need the instructions after all. I'll go and get them out of the trash bin. But those instructions are so long. I'll be 100 years old before I'm done with them. I think we should try being logical. Meaning what? I'll explain. There's a lot of these small planks. They probably form the deck. It's only logical, right? They probably go up on top of these bow-shaped parts. That's logical too, isn't it? Doesn't, Doesn't look logical. logical. So, I guess it's time to get the instructions out of the trash bin. All right. All right. in this garbage can? I sorted them into the recycling bins so the garbage men could cart them off. <laughs> no! Oh, why'd I have to throw the instructions out? Oh, we'll never be able to find them now. Oh, it wouldn't be with the glass recycling. Instructions are made of paper. It should be in with the paper recycling, which hasn't been emptied out yet. Thank you very much, Grandma. This time around, the kitty cats did everything just as the instructions told them to. It still didn't work with the instructions. What's going on? I have a really good idea. Let's ask Daddy to help us put the pirate ship together. Daddy was still hard at work assembling the kittens' beds. <laughs> Oh. It looks like Daddy needs just as much help as us. Daddy, are you sure you're following the instructions? Well, I did look them over. Uh, I just laid them aside. Uh, I thought I could build it on my own. So, uh, uh, mast and uh, uh, anchor and uh, uh, steering wheel. Oh, kitten dears, may I have a look at your instruction manual? Well, I figured out the problem. You got your instructions mixed up somehow. Right here are the pirate ship instructions, and here are the ones for the beds. 
Well, look at that. <laughs> uh. Well, I don't think you'll have any more problems now. So awesome! Wow, me, wow, me, wow, me, wow! It can be fun imagining or trying to figure out things for yourself. Following the instructions usually makes the job much easier. <sighs> a night in a forest. One day, Mommy and Daddy woke the kittens up very early in the morning. Time to rise and shine, kittens. Today we're driving to a big nature reserve where we're camping out tonight. Camping? For real? Are we sleeping in a tent? Will we cook on a campfire? So awesome! Wow, me, wow, me, wow, me, wow! The nature reserve had special spots for camping. Well, no free spots here. Let's drive a bit further. Oh, it looks like this one's full as well. After driving around the nature reserve for an hour, Daddy still couldn't find a free camping spot. Are we ever going to get there? I'm so tired. Me too, and I'm very hungry. And uh... I'm thirsty. Try to be patient, kittens. We'll drive a bit further into the reserve and find a perfectly lovely campsite. The trees are whizzing by really fast. Uh, well, the trees have stopped whizzing. We'll be stuck here for the rest of our lives. Now, don't give up, kittens. Everything's going to be all right. <laughs> Come on. Hey. Yeah. Hooray! <laughs> I'll go and gather some firewood while you help your father with putting the tent up. I think I forgot to pack the pegs for the tent. We need them to hold the tent in place. If the tent won't work, will we have to just sleep out on the cold, hard ground? What if it rains? Oh, then we can all sleep in the car. Uh, uh, It'd be pretty cramped. Uh, yeah, but in the car at least we'd be safe from all the scary forest creatures. There's lots of mosquitoes around, too. <laughs> nope, I do not want to spend the night in these woods. Neither do I. Daddy, please get Mom. We want to go home. Yeah, home isn't full of big mosquitoes. Or other scary forest beasts. Ha, relax, kittens. We're in a special nature reserve. No scary creatures live in this forest. Uh. Uh. A scary forest creature! <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> kittens, your scary forest creature is Mommy. <laughs> Goodness, Daddy's so very funny. I have been gathering dry twigs for our campfire. They weren't easy to find, but I kept on till I found them. Mommy just delivered a solution to our little tent problem. I've got a really good idea. We should all help fix the tent together and we'll have a super night sleeping in the woods. Soon, the kittens forgot all about their fears and started to have a lovely time in the outdoors. Um, mm. Kittens, it's time for bed. Good, Good night, night, Mommy. Good night, Good night kittens. kittens. Move over a bit. Ah, uh, there are mosquitoes in here. And they are hungry for us creatures. They're pretty big, too. Good thing I brought the anti scary forest creature spray. <laughs> ah. So Once the kittens settled down and dug in to help out, they had a wonderful time camping. Forgive and forget. One day, the kittens decided to build a model of their home. 
Candy drew a pretty diagram of the house. Kittens, that's a wonderful idea. I can sew little doll versions of the family, and they can live in the little model house. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Mommy and Candy went to the store to get some colored paper. Right, come along. I'll find you some cardboard, some glue, and scissors. Cookie and Pudding worked on the frame of the house following Candy's diagram. My half of the model's done, and it's awesome. All that's left is to cover it with colored paper. Oh. No, Cookie. <coughs> you just ruined a very important part. Well, would you like to crush part of my half of the model? That'd be kind of fair, right? Sure, oh. all right. Huh? Why'd you have to break my roof? That's way harder to fix than the part I broke off yours. Uh, how about you cut off one of the walls of mine? All right. Oops. Uh, all right. Now do I get to destroy your half of the house model? No. Just let me think for a minute. I'll find a way to make it up to you. Cookie offered Pudding his favorite, tomato juice. So now are we even? I don't think so. I don't really like tomato juice. I like apple juice much better. Then I gave up my juice for nothing at all? Uh, well, do you think we'd be even if I gave you my candy? Ah, it's a deal. I like candy very much. Let's go finish the house. Just wait a minute. Your half of the model is still fine, and plus, you got the candy. My house half is just rubble. All I got was that juice I don't even like the flavor of. No fair. <laughs> well, then what if I gave you my ship? But my ship's really awesome. It's way cooler than half of a model. What if I trade my magnifying glass to you? But wait, I love my magnifying glass so much. I could give you something besides that, or do something for you instead. Cookie and Pudding tried making it up to each other by giving gifts and doing nice things. Is there anything we can do for you to make it up? If you want, you can have my ship. My magnifying glass, too. I can push you on a swing for a long time. And then I can give you my dessert. This way we could really make it up to you. All right, stop, stop, stop. If someone you know does something wrong by mistake, you just need to work to fix that. Isn't that right, Candy? Yes, that's right. I have a really good idea. Pudding and cookie. I don't want you to do anything. You had me the second you said you're sorry. I forgive you. Oh, wow, that was simple. Pudding, I absolutely forgive you. <laughs> I absolutely forgive you too, Cookie. Well done. We'll work up a nice new diagram and build another house. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! And that's how the kitty cats realize that they have to forgive each other for making mistakes so everyone in the little house could live happily and help each other. Renovations. One day, Mommy and Daddy brought home some wallpaper and buckets of paint. Mommy, Daddy, what are you doing with all those things? Daddy and I have decided we're going to finish the attic. We'll make it all nice and cozy. The attic, really? You mean that we're going to have a new room in the house? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Hey, we can use the attic room for chess tournaments! <laughs> <laughs> A 
dance parties. Oh, we can play so many games up there. <laughs> Come on, let's go take a look at the new room. <laughs> It's still the same as before. Cookie, we only just started. First we figure out the plans, then we prepare them. I suggest we bring everything up from the basement so we don't have to run up and down the stairs every time. That's excellent thinking, darling. Little ones, remember to be careful when you go back down the stairs. It looks like we won't have a new room for a long time. Let's help Mommy and Daddy put up the wallpaper. If we hurry, we can do it all before they get back upstairs. Yeah, let's. It doesn't look very hard at all. Well, you're on a roll. Let me give you some help with that. There! It's not rolled up anymore. It's flat. Now we can stick it to the wall. Uh, oh! Whoa! I accidentally splashed this glue everywhere, and now the floor's been wallpapered. Maybe I can pull some of it up? <laughs> oh! 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 Whoa. These silly, sticky things are way more trouble than they're worth. Oh. What if we just used paint on the walls? Yeah, let's. I'm pretty sure we could handle that. Oh. What is happening up here? Mommy, Daddy, we're so sorry. We just thought that we could help speed everything up. We just really wanted to help out. But it really didn't turn out that great. <laughs> Thank you for trying to help, my darlings. But you know, renovations are really tricky. All the preparation is hard, even for us grown-ups. Mommy and I know this very well. It's not our first renovation. I've got a really good idea. If you can teach us how to do all of this, then we can help you. That's a good idea, Candy. But first, you need renovations of your own. Huh? You're all taking a bath right now. After their bath, the kittens help their parents to renovate the attic. <laughs> Look at that! I thought it was going to take much longer to get all this done. It's all thanks to our students here. Because of your help, we finished much sooner than we expected. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Hmm, but it still sort of feels like there's something missing. Oh, and what's that, oh? darling? Oh. Daddy messed up the wallpaper! Oh no! Now I know what it still needs. Some lovely kitty cat oh. paw prints. <laughs> and that's how the kittens help their parents with renovations and turn the attic into a cozy room for the whole family. Surprise! It was a holiday, National Kittens Day. A special day when parents give their kittens little gifts to celebrate. This Kittens Day, you'll be getting one big present to share, my kittens, but it's a so awesome ah! one. You'll get your present this evening, but try to be patient. It'll be a surprise. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! These kittens just couldn't bear the wait for evening. Look, a delivery truck is delivering something. It must be huge. Wow, that box is massive. Our present must be inside. Yep, Mommy did say that it would be a big surprise. <laughs> that box is big enough that it might have a complete set of plant encyclopedias. <laughs> It's so big, it could hold all the parts of a real-life pirate ship. <laughs> all hands on deck! <laughs> Maybe it's...
It's a big musical instrument, like a beautiful harp. Well, the box is so big it could have almost anything inside. We won't find out what it is until this evening. I'll never be able to wait that long. Let's go and take a look inside the box right now. Mommy and Daddy said it's a kitten's day surprise. We can pretend to be surprised tonight when we open it. All right, but Mommy and Daddy probably hit the box. We need to find it and be super stealthy, you guys. The kittens looked all over the house, but they didn't find the box. Where could they hide a box that big? We've looked everywhere in the house. Not down there. <gasps> Let's open it right now. That is a surprise. You think that Mommy and Daddy want to redecorate our room using this giant vase? But it will get in the way of everything. But we still have to pretend to be surprised and happy when we open it again later, or Mommy and Daddy will be disappointed. <sighs> Kittens, the time has come for your present. Your big surprise is waiting in your room. Come find out what it is. Hooray! Hooray! Surprise! All right, lift the box off. I want to see your faces when you see what's inside. I'm not sure I can pretend to be happy and surprised at all. <laughs> we already know there's just a vase in the box. We couldn't help it and had a look inside earlier. We're sorry that we ruined your nice surprise. Why not look inside the box anyway? Maybe you'll still find a surprise. Huh. Uh. Whoa! Whoa. Wow, wow, look, at, look that. at that! It's a magic town with clocks! And it lights up in the dark. That's why we wanted to give it to you in the evening, so you could see it in all its glory. We bought it a couple of weeks ago. The vase is a present for Grandma, but the vase box was just exactly the right size to put your actual present inside and help give all of you a nice surprise. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> the kitty cats had a lovely evening with their parents, celebrating Kitten's Day. And they realized that surprises are worth waiting for.